Donna. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. It's so nice to see you. You're darling. Thanks. Well, you are. I mean, I've been watching you for like, I don't know how many years now, however long Bless you've been you. Fine. You're such a sweetheart. Wow. What a neat place you have. Now, where do you live, Donna? Well, I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio. Neat. We just recently moved here from Michigan. So I was born in Michigan. Um, we lived there for our whole life. And then we moved to Cleveland and lived there for eight years. And then moved back to Michigan and lived there for 27 oh. years. Wow. And so then my husband got this great job opportunity here. So yes. we decided to trust and think that this was a new path you know yes. our kids are grown they're off to co you know out of college yeah, you know? yeah and then um we built a house and we got here and then COVID hit and oh. he lost his job oh we, bless your heart like I mean I had a booming business there in Michigan oh. I you know I just wanted to support him. This was something he always wanted to do yes. with CD aviation and everything. And then, you know, all this. So it's like everything went. <laughs> we, we have been through in our lives, three layoffs and it is horrible. It is just not fun. No, we never have. So it was a real shock. And, you know, just to give up, like, you know, to leave everything and my friends of a long time and my business and everything. So it was such Man. a big shot. I still miss it, you know, and then we were like, well, what do we do? Do we stay here? I mean, luckily yes. he found another position. So we're just kind of starting over. Like, so and well, I'm 58, I just turned 58. So, you know, you look the, awesome. You look thanks, so thanks. young. Thank you. My gosh. A, wow. You know, a huge change, you know, to start totally over. Like, well, <laughs> Donna, I, I envy you that you did it actually. I mean, I know that looking back, you probably think maybe we shouldn't have, but one of my great regrets is I grew up in Wichita, Kansas, and I always thought, kill me if I'm 80 and still driving Douglas, which is the main street in our town. I mean, we've got like 400,000, so it's not totally tiny, but here I am still in Wichita. And you know, you get two jobs and it's like, we had a couple of chances though for Alan. He got a job offer in Dallas once and some other place. And I really looking back, I wish we had done it. Plus you do have one son there. That must be nice. Yeah, that's nice. My brother has three kids. They're here. So nice. I have them here for the weekend. And we did some, you know, some stuff. And I actually filmed a video for yeah. setting up kids with their posture for nice. learning because, you know, they're always on their devices and they're slouching all the time. And, yes. you know, I'm like parents need to know how to set up workstations. You can't lay in bed and learn. <laughs> yes. Now, and Donna, Forgive me. You have a YouTube channel, right? I do. My Luckily, my Michigan people, they hang tough. They're with me. They've been coming to my online Zoom classes and stuff. And we at least get to see each other and communicate, right. not feel so isolated. But um, I've gained a few here, but it's really hard because I don't awesome. have any connections really yet. So okay. I thought maybe the YouTube thing would be a way for me to kind of you know, yes. reach out to women that are, you know, my age. And I, it was weird. I just made the comment on your thing because you had done so good. And then I was like, well, maybe I should tell her that her shoulders, you know, we and thank you them. so much. Thank you. I'm because a, a physical therapist. We pick at everything. Well, and no, and, and I need that because I've noticed my mother who my mom and dad are mid eighties and they have been going to the local Genesis, the workout place, and they've been having a personal trainer for like five years. And so they're doing everything right. But I notice now my mother at 85 is doing this and I don't want to do that. Right. I don't want to do that. And I don't want my ladies to do that. So tell me, okay, you're, you're an actual physical therapist yeah, too, physical right? Therapist. Yep. I've been for 35 years. 35 years. That's awesome. Okay. Tell me, tell me about like if somebody out there, cause I'm going to talk about your PT online services. Tell me how that works. Like, um, yeah, how does it work? I'm also a, uh, a certified Pilates instructor. So I right. left the clinic a long time ago because of insurance problems and, you know, all of that. I just got tired of that. I just started to become really unhappy because I wasn't able to really do what I wanted to do, which was really teach and make change. Because, you know, for, if you've ever been to physical therapy, you usually only get a prescription for like two times a week or three times a week for six weeks and then you're done. And now yes. even less because insurance is not paying for, you know, anything. You can't make change in the body with that short period of time. It's ongoing. Right. 
you know, the postures that we assume we've created over our lifetime, you know, right. I think the thing is form follows function, whatever you're doing all the time, that's the way you're going to be. Yes. Like the mom used to say, your face is going to freeze that way if you keep doing that. Yeah, <laughs> the same true. Your body. <laughs> so what are the main things, just in a quick overview, as far as PT, what are the main things you can help women address in like online PT? Well, basically the, the posture stuff. The posture is huge because as soon as we start to go into this forward flex position, we change a lot of things. One, we change, you know, the position of our necks as far as, you know, neck pain and, and that. When that curve changes, the other curve below it changes, which is your upper back. So that those muscles become lengthened and weak. These become strong and tight. So we're in this position instead of having open. And the problem that I see with women our age is that this has become so tight. And then they go to the gym, they go to Zumba, they go to yoga, they go to all this, and they just keep working out in this position. So you just keep reinforcing this position. So the things that I try to teach is, it's all about alignment. So if we can get you open here by doing proper flexibility, Mm -hmm. training and then we strengthen back here to lift you up and hold it there that's the yeah. those are basically the guys that are you know pushing you in the back so those muscles are nice and strong to make you stand up straight yes then we can change this the the, the other problem that happens with women are age two and usually it's like it's 50 percent. i think it's 57 percent is the actual statistic is we develop rotator cuff problems as we get older because of this so I just had a client text me from Michigan a couple of weeks ago and said she tore her rotator cuff and she wasn't doing anything. So all that is, is from this position and you wear and tear on those tendons and eventually like a rope, they fray and one day snap. And so she wow. had a total ro rotator cuff repair on, you know, we had to go through surgery and that could have totally been prevented. So yeah. if we change this upper body posture and then, you know, the other things too, breathing is affected, balance is affected, that's huge. So if you're rounded here, your center of gravity is out here, you're more likely to trip and fall. And then if you have right. osteoporosis, that's a risk. So it's right. just the snowball effect of the posture coming forward, you coming forward and then injury. So if you ask okay. me like, the therapist what I do, I look at your alignment first from front to back and, you know, in front to back and then side to side and see, okay. I look at the plumb line to see where you fall in that plumb line. You mm -hmm. could see that I was g doing right. this. And it was so interesting that you said, do not do the curl machine thing. And I threw that thing away because I totally realized that I'm just totally enforcing this horrible posture. Exactly. Exactly. And there's other ways to do you know, a core work, especially that's why I got into Pilates. So I left the clinic. I was seeing research studies coming out on the benefit of Pilates with back pain. And 80% of the people that I see are back pain people. Yeah. So I was seeing really good results with that. That was 20 years ago. So, you know, and now Pilates is, you know, everybody's doing Pilates, but it was when it was first kind of making it into the mainstream and yoga was always out there, but Pilates was kind of hidden. So I started to see really good results with that strengthening the deep muscles because that's the biggest mistake i think we make as older women too is we really want to see all those muscles be all cut and pretty and stuff and that's nice but really your strength comes from inside out so right. if the muscles around the spine are supporting the spine well and holding the spine up well then you branch out from there i mean it's not saying implies you don't work the surface muscles because you definitely do the global right. muscle, surface muscles whatever you want to call them but we work from the inside out so if you start that structure and supporting it inside then we can build on that outward right so basically what i would like to do is give the ladies like a a simple posture routine that they can do that won't take too long what we, what I go for first is people to get in that, what I call neutral spine. It's not what I call, it's what it's called, neutral spine. So it's a natural three curves of your back. Mm -hmm. The nice inward curve of your neck, a little outward curve of your upper back, the inward curve of your low back. And those three curves have to be there. And so to okay. get that and to make you feel that, I would have you lay on the roller. So just the rest position, that would be like a warm up for you. And I made this really for a pa like patients, like when I was in the yes. class, so that people could flip through it. It's easy to read. That's the other thing. You can prop it on the floor. So I'm going to do one called the snow angel. And this okay. one's going to be very revealing to you. That's on page 34. You know, I have not had a chance to do any of this stuff because okay. my life with, with the Dawn thing has just been I know, crazy. I'm sorry about your father-in-law. Oh, you but... know, I am too. However, in a month, he would have been 90. Retired pastor, the greatest couple ever. 
the greatest man. He's just a very ethical, kind, good man. But Darlene was the perfect country cook. I mean, deserted every meal, a lot of fried stuff until recently, but he had diabetes. He had two heart attacks. He had two strokes. He was on a second round of cancer when he passed. And actually he was a month away from 90 and he wouldn't have wanted to go through it. And, you know, it was tough. And of course we miss him, but I miss him how he was five years ago. That whole thing though made me realize that really thinking about the second half, none of us want to end up like that. And somehow we have got to maintain our health. If someone asked me today, what do you say to people that say they don't have time? I'm like, I always tell them, I've heard every excuse but a good one. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. Now, yeah. because do you have time people. for cancer and heart disease and diabetes? Yeah, that makes sense. And I did not know that I was you know, slumping. So I am so glad you told me that. I always tell people, think of there being a big red bow tied right here. You got a scarf right. around you. In fact, I took a picture of myself from my blog and tied a big scarf there. If that stays like that, you can work out till you're blue in the face. It's not going to change until we untie this. And Donna, you know what I'm going to do too when I do this video? I'm going to tell them that in the comment section that they can ask you questions as well. And then you can feel free to go answer their questions. Yeah. And how much do you charge for online classes and stuff? So my, yeah, my online classes are only $12. So if wow. you want to a group class, it's $12. I've kept it very reasonable. So that is a Pilates class. So that's not a PT class. Yes. But I teach as a PT Pilates person. So I modify a lot of things. That's why we did the Age Perfected because people say, I can't do Pilates. I'm like, if you came to me as a therapist, what do you think I would tell you? Because you have a bad knee, lay down and just have to take a rest? No, I would yeah. not try it for you and say, this is how we're going to do it to make it work. Yes. So that's basically how I run my classes. So okay. there are, there is a menu of classes. And then on Fridays, I have what I call flexibility Fridays. And those are great for anybody, any level, any fitness, you know, any size, any age. And one week we do what I call pure stretch. And that's uh -huh. just stretching with a yoga strap and two tennis balls. So I teach you how to release muscles that are tight using the tennis okay. ball and how to stretch properly. And then on the alternating Friday, we do what's called stretch and roll. And that's one with the roller and with the, the yoga. Okay. So, and that stretching helps release that emotion from your tissues. And so I get texts saying, oh, I feel so good. I felt so nice all day. I felt relaxed all day. Not only is it helping your body flexibility wise so that we can change your positioning, but also your mind. So you're feeling better. And then when you feel better, you want to do stuff. <laughs> yes. So, well, you know, I was listening to, I think it was Dr. Ken Berg, who is a, a, an MD that's really popular. I was, I was watching videos about high blood pressure because I think I have high blood pressure because I've just gotten a cuff and I'm starting to monitor. And so I'm kind of learning about that. But he said that all of the traumas that we've experienced in our life and all of those tensions really kind of stay in there you. and it's that we need to. What'd you say? It's called issues in your tissues. Oh, I like that. That's good. So I, I did a whole series on that in my class because, you know, when we work on people, a lot of times emotions come out and people will just start crying. People will, you know, have like flashback type memories and stuff because we do hold that stuff in. And, you know, even grief and that's never been dealt with and stuff like that can come out when we start getting deep into those muscles and releasing them. And it's called a somatic emotional release. It's actually a name, you can Google it, S, you know, SMR. I love what I do. I love like the body. I love kind of diving in and figuring out what the problems are. That's why this whole posture evaluation and I always tell people it's, it's all about this alignment. It's so simple to me in my head anyway. You know, I look at it, it's like, this is so easy to fix because it's just a matter of kind of fine tuning where your body is. It's like your car. If it's not aligned, yeah. it doesn't run well. To, to get those bones, you have to tell the bones. The bones have been used to being like this, even yeah. with this little bit of shoulder flexion here. Once we open this up, we have to say, okay, now guys, it's, it's okay to go into this extension. All right. And that should feel yeah. good. The other way to do that is with your roller. You can hold the, have the roller um, horizontal and then you lay over the roller. So I'm just gonna put the roller right here and hang back. Now this is a harder, you know, this is not as soft and gentle as the ball. <laughs> but, um, you know, if they have a roller they can do with the, or a ball, whichever one. So you can just swap out. And then if you want a massage, you lift your pelvis up and then roll up and down. Wow. How, how long do you recommend that you kind of hang there or whatever? 
you know, just a minute, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. I always tell people, just listen to your body. You have to listen to what your body's saying. If that's really uncomfortable, then start with, you know, 10, 15 seconds. And then as you get kind of accommodated to it, you can stay for a minute. And you're going to breathe in that. So you're trying to teach the ribs, okay, because the ribs attach to that thoracic spine. And then we're going to go into that extension and breathe there. You'll like that. It feels really good, especially if you've been working all day at your job, which I know you, you do, you know, you're probably at a computer and stuff. Well, and actually, this is, this is where I work right here at the kitchen table. Oh, but I do. I mean, I sit here all day long on the computer. And you know, it's so funny because there's something about having good posture that sometimes I've always felt like, oh, I look like I think I'm all that or something. I know that sounds so stupid, but it's kind of like, you know, if I kind of walk around like this, I don't look like I'm being so cool, you know? I'll get them in this, and they're like, I feel like I'm pushing my boobs out. And I'm yeah. like, you're not. You're just in good position. You're not used to being there. The body has such a memory of this muscle memory of where is comfortable and where you're used to being. And so as soon as I take you out of that, it feels foreign and your body fights it a little bit. So does your mind because you're like, ah, this doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel normal. Just by standing up straight, you look 10 pounds lighter. I'm six foot tall. I know you're just a tiny little girl. So. Well, you are tall. So I have to be, I, I mean, I never wanted to be that tall girl that was slouching and stuff. So I always was focused on posture. I think too, as women get older, they just, they feel like they're kind of, hiding a little bit yes you just you're right know, yeah and i feel like the women that i see that have great you know they just have a presence about them you know they have this confidence and they look even if you're getting older you still look like i'm vibrant and i'm you know regal yeah regal it's just a good you know you you, you see women like i do and you don't yes. they look beautiful i mean when they're sitting up straight, yes. you know, well you're right there's a certain pride with saying i am here and i'm going to take up my space i'm not going to play small I'm going to take up my space. Yeah. You know, we do deserve that. We absolutely do. Okay, so I've got a weird question. Mm -hmm. Just when you're sitting around, like talking to your family and whatever, you really shouldn't do this, should you? You really should get in the habit of reminding yourself to have good posture, right? right. And the thing is, I tell people when they first start with this posture stuff, it's 80% conscious. So you have to think about it 80% of the time because you'll go back to, you know, like I said, that muscle memory, you just go back to that. After a while, you train your brain to recognize when you're not in good posture. So by always doing this, you just kind of flip a switch that when you're slouching, you go, oh, I'm, I need to be up right again. Yes. So um, it's, it's just a matter of changing that nervous pathway. You're training it. It's just like learning a dance. You're fumbling around. You don't know what to do. You have to think about every step where your foot goes. And it's the same with training, posture, or exercise, or anything. You, you have to just keep practicing it, and eventually it becomes unconscious. And the benefits of training yourself into good posture are pretty great, aren't they? Yeah. What are some of the benefits of? Well, one, that neutral spine. It all goes back to that. It, your bones are meant to weight bear in a certain position. And when you fall either in front of or behind that kind of plumb line that I look at when I eyeball you, whenever you fall in front of it, the bones are taking stress where they're not meant to take stress. So then they start to wear out. Just like when your steering's off on your car, you, or I always say it's like the, and I mentioned it in one video, I call it the target grocery cart you know, syndrome, when you get that cart and that one wheel is stuck and then the other one is loose and you get this constant force, that's what your body experiences when you're not in good posture because right. certain muscles are strong and pulling and other ones are lengthened and weak and you get this kind of almost torque through the body. So then you get the wear and tear on the bones, all right? Then you, the tendons and, and everything that attaches there. You know, like I said, balance is affected, breathing is affected, you know, and as we get older, we tend to breathe more shallow. So of course, if we're lifted up, we can get lung capacity, we can get breath into our lungs better. So anybody that has any type of breathing problem, whether it's asthma or COPD or anything like that, right. um, it's in their best interest to be in good posture. I Absolutely. had a client that sadly she passed away last year. I had been seeing her for a long, long time and she was 85 years old, wow. doing Pilates, doing, and she was coming, but she had COPD and she ended up getting oral cancer and, and all that was a long thing. But you know, one of the things we worked on is she would, she was, she has the greatest posture, but cause she needed it to be able to breathe. Yeah, you know, any type of problem going on in your lung, you and you can't, and you're down like this, you're not getting any breath. Okay. So you're going to be here like you're holding a giant ball. 
Now you're going to not keep your shoulders here. <laughs> you're going to okay. drop them down and then you're just going to squeeze your scapulas together. So shoulder blades pinch together. So it's super tiny. So when I do this, you can barely see, all you see is my shoulder blades coming together. Yep. You don't see my arms moving too much. Think of your scapulas like little doors and you're going to close the doors, open the doors close the doors, open the doors. So shoulders are relaxed here, so you have no tension here. And then it's this little squeeze. So this is a really good one to do at your desk if you've been sitting for a long period of time. It gets those muscles activated again. Can you feel that tension back there between the? Yes, yeah. yeah. So super tiny. Now you could add weights to that eventually, but when, they first, when you first start, it's, you just have to get the feeling of the scapulas pulling back. Remember Beth, we opened up here now we're training the ones that are supposed to hold us there to yes. do the work. This is helping your muscles strengthen back there in your yeah. upper back. Yeah, think of it like you have like this, like a, a corset, like laces between your scapulas. And right. we're pulling those, <laughs> those strings to <clears throat> lift us back up. People have to just be patient at first. It's just opening up, getting that flexibility here. And then once that starts to change, then we go, okay, we're ready. Now we start to strengthen that. The biggest problem I think women get with and this starts with that are people that are fitness people, is that they do too many push-ups, too many things in the front, all these bicep curls and all this, and that's fine, but you have to open this, like your bicep, when I do bicep curls, I open my chest and I do lateral biceps, so I do out here. I think that's what you did too. I think you kind of had them out in this. I, did, I do some like that, but yeah, but that's interesting why you do that though, because you don't want to just do this. No, people are here, they got a heavy weight, what do they do? They go like here. When we do bicep curls in my class, you know, we're, we're here. Awesome. And so, so how often should they do this? The stretching parts of it, that one, two, and three, they should be doing every day. To stretch muscle, you have to keep beating it into its head. When you're trying to change these muscles that are so strong as they've been pulling your, your structure forward, you have to keep telling them every single day. Posture is related to beauty as you get older. And so just kind of, ex just kind of in a nutshell, explain why you think posture relates to beauty as we age or whatever. As women, we start to feel like we're, we're losing our vibrancy and stuff. And we kind of almost like a wilted flower. <laughs> we start going down. It's sad. We don't want to feel that way. So lifting ourselves back up just creates that confidence and a, a feeling of like you still have something to say. <laughs> that there's really like a, you still have a strong voice. You know, and down here, where is your voice going to be? It's going to be quiet and meek, and you're not going to feel like you have anything worthy to say. But here, you're like, I'm powerful. And, you know, it's like that power pose thing. I don't know if you ever did power pose. But, yes. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing when you do power pose after you do it. You have a stronger voice. You feel, you feel better about yourself. Yes. And really, you are so right. Because as women, we are so taught that if we don't look a certain way, generally like 25 to 30 or whatever, that we're not, that we, that we don't have anything to say. And that's so ridiculous. I mean, we've got to have a lot to say because we've been through a lot. We've learned a lot. Right. And how nice to have the posture and the presence to be able to say, I'm in this world. I deserve to be here. And I've got something to say. Right. I have something to teach. And, you know, everybody has something valuable to contribute. To well, the... Donna, thank you so much. I well, love this. Thank you for let, like, wanting to even talk to me. Like I said, well, I, I'm, I'm so glad that, that you I'm mentioned that to me. I'm watching your video. And then I'm like, and then all of a sudden these people start asking me questions. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> no, no, you can, you can totally answer. I mean, I think it's great. I mean, you're, a, you're an expert. And, you know, if they want to ask you questions, that's great. That's and funny. I, I did have someone from your channel come to one of my Zoom classes. This awesome. was before you even contacted me. And wow. I, she, I thought she was like a friend of some, one of my friends. And yeah. I said, how'd you find me? And because she was in like some tropical setting. And I was like, wow. oh, where are you? How cool. <laughs> I'm in Cincinnati. It's not that trouble here. It's just yeah. hot. But, um, anyway, she goes, oh, well, from the lady that does YouTube. And I'm like, what? <laughs> wow, that is so cool. I'm so happy. I have no idea if they're going to watch a posture video. And I'm going to have to look for some search term that would... I don't know that would get them there. So I don't know, you know, I don't know if we're going to have a lot of viewers or, you know, a few or a lot, hopefully a lot. I think but that people, like if you tell them they're going to decrease pain, if you tell them that, um, you know, somehow they're going to feel better, then that's kind of something that, you know, they want to, they want to know about then. You know, I'm educational. I really feel like I'm a teacher to teach you how to manage your body. 
I'm not here to make you do what I do or, you know, anything like that. It's just to teach you how to manage things and manage your pain or manage, you know, anything that has to do with a joint. If you're teaching them or telling them that somehow their pain is going to go away or they're going to feel better or feel more confident or look 10 pounds lighter, that would be the thing. Look 10 pounds lighter with, if with, by changing your posture. That would be your thing. I like it. Okay, explain that real quick. Well, because you're slouched down, everything is, (laughs) you know, bend over, all your rolls come out, you know, but you engage your core and you lift, you know, and that's the biggest thing with Pilates is that, and the the first thing people notice is their waist gets pulled in. And so they're like, I didn't lose any weight, but my pants are like looser in my waist. And as we get older, where do we get thicker? Our, Our waist. So if you get those deep postural muscles working and then you get it's the deepest abdominal muscle called the transversus abdominis. That's like, like a corset. It wraps around. It's the deepest one. If that pulls in, then it lifts you up. And that's what, that's what the whole thing with back pain. If we can kind of tighten that corset, we lift the spine up. We separate the vertebrae a little bit. You sit taller. You look better. You look thinner. And it's because of your posture. And thank you so much for mentioning that to me. That was very kind of you. Because I'm sure you went... Oh, do I really tell this woman I don't know that she's, you know, she's hunting? I did, because you know? I usually don't comment too much. But no, I, I really I, appreciate that. I feel and, like there's enough people hating on people, and I, I didn't mean it in a hateful way, and I thought, I I've heard it before, and I think she's commented back, and she'll know that I'm like, no, absolutely, no, I really do appreciate that, and especially when you mentioned with the osteopenia that you just don't want to do that. I mean, I'm looking at the older women around me and the older men with their dissolving skin and all their dark black bruises and their bad posture. I don't want us to go there. I just, I just don't think we have to if we're just vigilant about things. The thing is, it's not hard. You just have to. I was talking to someone today about, you know, COVID and, and, and why it's just not under control. And I'm like, it's because of discipline. And people, it's just like exercise. If we don't, we expect a quick fix. There's no quick fix. This is a constant thing. And just like this COVID, it's going to be constant if we don't discipline ourselves to stay home as much as we can and wear the darn mask and stuff and you know and just do that and we can we can take control and it's the same with our health if we you know you eat good for a couple of weeks and then you go back to eating bad again you're back to square yeah. one absolutely so isn't that the that's truth. why the the country's in the shape as far as health wise is you know the obesity and the diabetes and all that stuff is so rampant is because people just don't want to discipline themselves enough to do it you know? well Donna, thank you so much you're just delightful and i'm I'm really excited to do this video. I'm excited to see you do it. Be, yeah. Be, be a voice and teach Absolutely. People. Absolutely. Save the world from bad posture, one back at a time. So I like that. <laughs> anyway, well, have a great rest of the week. And Thank I you. Like you too, to Donna. Record your videos. And like, I was, my husband's working on our master bedroom because we've been decorating because, you know, we're yes. all, he starts his new job next week. So he was in the bedroom doing some stuff. He was actually hanging sconces for me and I was getting nice. Ready bathroom and I had you on and he's like what are you listening to I go I'm listening yeah. to breath, the one I'm going to talk to this week <laughs> yeah no yeah my husband largely ignores the channel which is fine you know I don't care but um yeah he's he's kind of a car guy too he loves racing and loves cars and all of that it's so. such a fun thing to be able to kind of you know make connections online with people across the country and um, yeah it's neat and you do become i think at our age too we become kind of connected to you know you find pe- like-minded people and people that you know lift you up and your cards it's funny because at the end of all my classes i usually do a meditation or yeah. something and i use louise hay i've used you know dr awesome. Wayne Dyer, uh, Gabriel Bernstein. we have her meditation and you believe yeah. all that. I was like, oh my God, we're like spirit animals. <laughs> That's so cool. That is so cool. I love that. So, well, well, Donna, thank you so much. And you have a great week.